Technology is disrupting most areas of our lives, so it's no surprise it's changing environmental advocacy. We've seen the emergence of technologies that help people drive change by making problems visible and actionable. The environmental community stands at the cusp of a major transformation. We call it the fourth wave of environmental innovation. The fourth wave levels the playing field. It supercharges partnerships, strong science, and cutting-edge economics. It's innovation that gives people the power to take action. Reducing emissions of methane from the oil and gas sector is one of the most promising climate action strategies that we have. It is technologically feasible. It's incredibly cost-effective. What it entails is simply finding and fixing leaks along the natural gas supply chain. There's a huge opportunity for entrepreneurs to create a new generation of lower-cost methane detection units. This is a good combination of technology readiness as well as a real-world application. I define sustainability in agriculture as the coming together of both environmentally friendly practices intersecting with the economic realities of running a business. Having everybody aligned in the chain is huge. Companies like Smithfield, for example, are now cutting supply chain greenhouse gas emissions. Part of Smithfield's goal is to reduce fertilizer waste on farms and precision agricultural tools provide pinpoint measurement for maximum yields. I am incredibly optimistic about the future of agriculture. Never before has data and technology been so aligned to where we can start capturing information from our farm that we've never been able to. What makes airborne pollutants so dangerous is that they are not always visible to the human eye. Typically, urban air quality is measured by one stationary monitor. There are technologies out there that can do a better job of providing a more robust picture of air quality at a local or regional level. We also see that communities are starting to support monitoring efforts in their own neighborhoods. This air pollution information is new knowledge we've never had before, essentially making the invisible visible. People can become more aware of what's happening on the ground. They're able to take action and implement solutions. The momentum is building satellites that can track emissions from space, data analytics that reveal previously hidden patterns and artificial intelligence that help us combat overfishing. Tech innovators, business leaders, and local citizens can all explore the power of fourth wave coalitions. When technology and analytics are used to shape smart policy, rein in free riders, and reward corporate responsibility, the result will be positive change that lets people and nature prosper.